Hello, my name is Justin and I'm one of the nature interpreters here at the Royal Botanical Gardens here in the Wildlife Rescue Exhibit. Now when we think about endangered species, we're often thinking about the large furry animals and we don't really remember about the smaller animals like this American burying beetle. Now, the beetle doesn't get quite as large as this toy here, but they're still pretty big at two and a half to three and a half centimeters long. And they are also some of the very interesting, most interesting beetles around. Now, first of all, they play a very important role in nature as nature's recyclers. Now, their main food source is carrion, so they'll eat dead bodies and return those nutrients down back into the soil. Not only that, they have the very unique behavior of both the male and the female taking care of their young. So once the male finds a carcass, the, it'll attract a female and they'll work together to bury the animal. Now, once that carcass is buried, the female will lay her eggs nearby so that once they hatch, the two parents can work together to chew up the food and feed their young until they're ready to become adults themselves. Now, the American burying beetle used to be found in Ontario as well, from Toronto to Windsor, as well as a large portion of the United States. Unfortunately, they are no longer found in Ontario and really only occupy about 10% of their historical range. Scientists aren't really sure why they disappeared, but their theories include uh, habitat destruction, light pollution, and the use of pesticides. And one interesting theory uh, thinks that the extinction of the passenger pigeon actually had a very important role in the reduction of these beetles because that removed a large carcass source that these beetles would have been looking for. But all is not lost. There have been lots of rehabilitation and uh, reintroduction programs being done in Massachusetts and what started as a small project on a small island has now expanded to the larger Nantucket Island and maybe one day we'll even get beetles back here in Ontario. So if you want to learn about the American burying beetle and other conservation stories from around the world come and check out our wildlife rescue exhibit and if you're coming this weekend you'll get the bonus of getting to see some incredible orchid displays from the Orchid Society who are here on Saturday and Sunday for their annual show. I'll see you soon.